everybody. So Tuesdays, as you know, are for creative conversation. Uh, today is Tuesday, so I have a new amazing artist that we are going to talk, that is Cristina Sorace Makinon, that I almost forced her to come to the gallery to have the interview in person because it's better, right? It is. It is. I love coming to this gallery. Personal. Yeah, for sure. Especially can, this little nook. Yeah, we create this cozy yeah, this corner little, yeah. and we put your art on the background. Yeah, so, yeah. we have 15 minutes. I'm going to try. Do you I'm know? Try and get it. Yeah, 15 okay. minutes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Got it. I know you. I know. <laughs> Let's start. This is not an interview because we don't like them, and I don't like them either. This is a conversation. There is not a script. We are yeah. talking like friends, yeah. artists, yes. whatever. Organic. Yes. How you became an artist? <laughs> well, I'm going to compress the story for you greatly. Um, so, okay. um, so I'm just going to start from like 2013 when I decided to finally just dive into art. And yeah, I'm skipping my whole childhood thing. No, but I want to listen. <laughs> but maybe you can talk faster. Um, well, I always wanted to be an artist yeah. because, you know, academics yeah. was really tough for me yeah. and art class was awesome and that's where I felt my freedom. I didn't feel like I had to meet anyone's approval, right? Yeah. So art was always a place for me to feel like myself, the best, the best version of myself. And so fast forward, okay, I'm going to fast forward, mm -hmm. okay? I did take some classes at Raritan Valley Community College yeah. for years and yeah. I got some great feedback from professors there. Of course. And uh, so I wanted to continue, but you know, then I had more kids, and then uh, I wasn't able to do art for 14 years. So in 2013, when my youngest went back to kindergarten, I decided to pursue art, and I haven't stopped making art since then. So 10 years I've been making art consistently, showing up all the time in my studio, first making crap, and then what we have to make crap, right? Um, but then you just keep going. And going yeah. and going and then Instagram then was so great because yeah. it, it was. was like it was just Need real artists and you were able to see what everyone was doing and there was no reels it was just it was it and didn't still force yeah. to post 15 minute videos only yeah exactly you, know? you didn't have to like work so much to yeah. to um yeah. to get people to, it really to see your work artists, Instagram algorithms and all of these things yeah. so That's I imagine changed. that you know this compressed like yeah, that you yeah. told me mm -hmm. your art evolved my art has evolved like crazy yeah. you know i went from something really gestural and loose mm -hmm. to more constructed pieces like this so as i mentioned to you before yeah. um when you found me i was working on the margin series and so mm -hmm. that margin series has uh, was really kind of based in this really heavy mark making like lots of movement, lots of friction, lots of congestion yeah. work. And that um, came from like this moment I had in the studio where I was making all these marks and then I thought, hey, this reminds me of like my high school days when I was really anxious and I didn't want to be there. And so I would fill up margins on my paper with drawings and a lot of like repeated mm -hmm. marks. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, oh my God, like I can call this series a margin series and maybe create something something with these marks and and integrate them into the work and in a transformative way creating something positive out of something that yeah. was a struggle for me yeah um so <clears throat> so i think art in itself is a it's a restorative process for me it is. you know so you know and i always mention and i every time that i show your art to clients i always mention the amount of layers that you have here yeah. mm -hmm. and one specific thing <laughs> that i want you to talk about it that is the maze yeah the maze is rather new as you know like know. like new like what like maybe two years mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. i started putting it in there and the maze has to do with how my mind works how i believe my mind works how i see my my brain um, having been diagnosed recently with ADHD, but self-diagnosed for years, um, it's it's uh, it's been a challenge living with it. You know, yeah. it's a, there's a stigma behind it. Um, you're kind of labeled as spacey and and uh, and forgetful and all this other stuff. So the maze is symbolic of my brain, and so I started putting it in the work. It just appeared in the work. I wasn't like, oh, let me just put yeah. a maze in, the, in there. But it kind of does, it, it is definitely, um, it made me connect more to 
the challenges that I went through, yeah. but also kind of be a little bit more forgiving to myself. So it's about kind of not being able to access the places that you want to go to with memory in conversation and i'm always like those struggles that i've always had so that's where the maze comes in and labyrinth is so it's it's still very much a part of the work that i'm doing now as well so how in three steps how do you describe your creative process um well in three steps so i think my process is, I love the making of the work, mm -hmm. right? The actual doing of it. So that like inspires the heck out of me, the actual making of it. Going in there, being completely free, liberated, getting a canvas and just free flowing, stream of consciousness, right? And then um, things start to kind of pop out, shapes and things like that, right? And so then I start to kind of maybe just think of the elements of art, but. I don't go in there like it's the dialogue right yeah. that happens i don't go in there with an uh, with an, uh, an idea or concept really you know they come to me as i'm working yeah and so i think the dialogue that happens with with uh painting where you, there's this entity that you're dealing with that's that's like the magic yeah when you're in the flow of it mm -hmm. because talking like an artist myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your work allowed you to continue adding layers yeah. and mm -hmm. continue extending the conversation as long as you want. Yeah, yeah, and that's why like, I'm a more of a maximalist, yeah. right? So people just say, oh, like, like, I love minimalist work as well, but for me, I'm like, how, I need to keep going. Like, yeah. I have so much to say, so sometimes it's too much and I, and I don't. That is difficult restraint. to know when, to, like, when yeah. to stop, too. Yeah, so restraint has always been a difficult thing for me, but I think, having become more constructed with the work, I'm beginning to know when to pull back, yeah. when to allow for those kind of breathing spaces in, in the painting, which I've been a little bit more mindful about. A yeah. lot more mindful about, I'd say. You know? Yeah. You know, yeah. So, now we are going to play. Okay. This section that is called Words and Thoughts. Words and Thoughts. Mm. See, what this is, is... <laughs> I write down words on my hand this morning because this is just okay, because then, I forget things and I wanted to just have words that... This is, remember when I was doing a test in the school and I yeah. have the answers in my you, hands. Cheat, your cheat sheet. <laughs> cheat, cheat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, but this is not the game. The game is that I tell you a word and you tell me your thoughts. Shoot, okay. let's go. I always start with two that are the same. The first one is goals. Mm -hmm. My goals. Yeah. My goal is to constantly show up in my studio and being consistent about making work because that's the only way you're going to grow as an artist and evolve and um, I don't really have a specific goal it could be too overwhelming to be like I want to do but again we can get to a whole nother conversation mm -hmm. about like what does it mean to be a successful artist no. you know sometimes people view that as like a money a place of money but um, I think uh, as um, long as I keep growing and evolving that's where I just want, I'm submitting to my work and gatherings and yeah. we'll see. And the second war is a struggling. Yeah. Or struggle. Yeah. They go hand in hand. Believe it or not, most of the artists yeah. complement one of the war with the other one. Yeah. It's true though. Like you can't, you can't be an artist and not, and think that everything's going to go super smoothly. People are like, how are you doing it? And I'm like, doing what? Like they think you know, I'm like super successful. I'm like, no, I don't know what you mean, but but no, it's just, it is a struggle. It is a struggle. And sometimes the best work though, I wanted to say, comes out of those struggles. Yeah, frustration, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. Freaking brushstroke that is like I hate this painting and from there something. And then from there something brilliant will appear, right? Yeah. It just shoots you in another direction. Yeah. Right. And that brings me to my series and how I work in series. Now, I don't want to like you allow the process to kind of yeah. uh, like tell you what to do, like so the process informs me what to do. And next thing I know, I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is a new direction. Let me make this another series, so I'm not denying that part of the process, and I'm just allowing it to come out. Um, so I try and work that way because I know sometimes people are like, oh, but your work looks so different here, and I'm like, well, it's part of uh, you know, it's part of being an artist for me is just honoring the next. I'm going to pick up one, you know, because. 
there, it's something that I've already talked about. There is, yeah, I, I see. Because there is yeah. no, I want to make sure that there is not a script. How about, this is a, how about mystery? Okay, maybe. This, this is this is part of the art industry, but what we are trying to do here is show you another part of the art industry that is real, is honest, is yes. humble. Yes, is the day it's to, very real. The day to day. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. because there is different art industries and this is the one that I want to ask to showcase. So, I want to go with bigger. You like bigger. You like bigger. You like bigger. Well, I because like, you I are like bigger. bigger and bigger. Yeah, I like bigger scale. Yeah. 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 I feel like there's a, there's a freedom in being in, in working at, at a bigger scale. There's also like a physicality about it, where your whole body's moving when I work larger, and I just I just feel that it's just it's more liberating. You know, I'm smaller. Working small is actually more challenging for me. You yeah. know, especially um, if I'm, uh, you know, making all these marks. It's just it just becomes a struggle for me. Smaller work. I don't. I feel too um, too contained. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I need yeah. to feel more need to open, open your wings. Yeah, exactly. And fly. So when you're ready for that 96 by 84 piece, I'll bring it. Christina has a 96 <laughs> by 84. 84, but it's amazing. If somebody's interested, please shoot me a DM <laughs> and I will send you a photo. Um, yes. I, now I'm curious about mystery. Yeah, mystery. Well, because I think when we make art, there is also this higher thing that's happening. There's also this mysterious part of it that we ourselves as, as artists, we don't know why sometimes yeah. we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. Right? It's coming from the subconscious place yeah. that I think is always there and always present. Yeah. You know, and, and so we don't have to have answers for everything that we're doing because sometimes we don't know ourselves. It could be from a memory that we don't even remember, you know, that's really suppressed in our minds. Yeah. Or it could be from your higher power, whatever that, you know, whatever that is. But I think there's a there's a mystery. I love this mystery. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. A white canvas is always a mystery. Yeah. Because I don't know what's going on. Right. If I do like you, I uh -huh. work on a series, I know that it's going to be encapsulated in some kind of theme or concept, mm -hmm. but if no, it's, um, I go into my memory like it's you. A, yeah. I don't have a, yeah. a maze. And sometimes it's a subconscious, though. Memory. Yeah. Like sometimes it it's just, a, it just ends up on the canvas. So <laughs> I think that it's important for me to throw you the war color. Yes. And I don't think color. that's on your mind. No, it's not actually on here. No. Very good, very good. Um, color is emotive. You know, color uh, represents so many emotions, you know, and uh, I've always worked so much in color. You know, it's it's really drives. Um, and, and the thing, I, I, mean, I don't think of palettes either. You know, I don't, I don't mm. lay out a, a palette. Yeah. I'm always just like very spontaneous and impulsive yeah. with my color selection. I could be inspired by a painting that I see from mm -hmm. on Instagram, and or even a palette that I just see from, from a tree from or wherever. Flowers yeah, or whatever. yeah. I just feel like, oh, I like that, you know. And I might think about that, and that might also be in my subconscious, right? Yeah, right. But, um, but yeah, color is obviously um, it's a major, major part of my. my and now, work. in thirty seconds, and I am going to count the thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I want to throw this word because I think that is important. Mm -hmm. That is cells. Sales. So that's the dichotomy about being an artist, right? Being creative and also a business person is super difficult. That's the biggest struggle for me, you know, is sales, like making sales. You know, sometimes it's like so much pressure that you put on your own work to make sales. Um, but you're doing a good job, hey, Sue. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank you. I hope that you enjoy a 15 minute flight. <laughs> when you are having fun. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, I can keep going. You can go to the website, discover Christina's work. You can come to the gallery, that is the best idea, and see it in person yeah. and enjoy all of these layers and colors and shapes. Um, it's great to have you here. Thanks I learned a me. little it's bit awesome. more about you. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned for Thanks next for week. And thank you.